you know about this. <laughs> okay. So we're limited at the moment to about 45 miles an hour simply because it's a development truck. We've, we didn't want to go too much faster. And also it's a, a little bit on the bumpy side here. I don't yeah. necessarily want to want to do, you know, it's, it's if you're bouncing up and down, it is. If we it's go over it much faster, it's going to be a bit rough for it's you. Fun. So, now, um, you've seen, why they said ride with Bernie. You've, <laughs> you've, seen, you've seen the battery line, you've yep. seen the chassis line, you know the battery sits in the chassis, okay? Right. Physics, school, high school level, low center of gravity, good stability, yes? All right. Okay. So we'll take this at probably about 40, 43 miles an hour. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that is. It, it's, it's kind of kind of stable, you know. Yeah. Yeah. And you said it doesn't have the stability. There's track no on? stability control. Oh, no really? traction okay. control. This is plain. Jane Vanilla. How much of that is because the motors are over the wheels? They talked a lot about that. Some of that is because the motors are in the wheels. Some of that is because the battery pack is very low down. Uh -huh. Like I was saying, mm -hmm. central gravity is incredibly low in this vehicle. What that means is that we could do that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Okay. You mentioned the motors being in the uh -huh. wheels. All right. So all we have going to the motors is the, the cables, the high, high voltage cables, the cooling lines and the brake line. Mm -hmm. Okay, most four wheel drive cars have drive shafts going to the front mm. wheels. Yep, they have yep, universal yep. joints going to the front. They have restrictions on the angles that you can drive the torque through. We don't have any of that, which means we can do this kind of thing. Oh, Holy cow. Wow. So that's basically a circle. Yeah, do you know, do you know, do you know how many people come out with almost the same expression when yeah. I do that? <laughs> mm -hmm. You know, it's 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 this quite maneuverable. This, this is a full-size pickup truck. Okay. Now, Honestly, not only that, we've got four wheels with motors in. All right. Now, most four-wheel drive cars, they've got differentials front, back, in the middle. If you want to control where the torque's going, you've got to lock those dips up. We don't have to do that. We just say to the motor, "Give me this amount of torque, please." What that means is this. Okay. Love it. I'll take two. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now, I'm not trying to make a sports car, although it seems like it I am. Like I am not trying to make a sports car. Sportiness and safety are two sides of the same coin. Uh -huh. Right? And the reason I say that is my journey home, okay? I live out in the countryside. Quite frequently, if I'm going home late at night, I'll get a deer or something cross the road in front of me, and I have to avoid it. Right. And if there's one deer, there's another. There's two deer. And then there's another one. Okay? So the whole point behind this is the stable platform. Okay? It's flat, it's stable, it's controlled. That's amazing. Okay? Now, we're running, we're, we're running effectively unrestricted for the fleet. Sure. Mm -hmm. We're going to provide the ability for the fleet managers to restrict the performance of the vehicle. Okay, it is, is that's speed very important to have a large fleet operator. Exactly, speed limit is like eighty or so, something. No, 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 no. The, the, the